Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about a cool Apple Watch and iOS app called Blue Heart that lets you connect the heart rate monitor on your Apple Watch to Bluetooth-enabled workout equipment like the Peloton bike and gym treadmills and ellipticals in today's video. The Blue Heart app was recommended by a YouTube viewer, and I thought I'd check it out. I get lots of comments. It's probably one of my most number one questions is can I use the heart rate monitor on the Apple Watch to display the heart rate on the Peloton bike? Blue Heart app basically takes the heart rate monitor information from your Apple Watch, retransmits that using your iPhone to Bluetooth enabled workout equipment. And they can actually see that signal now and it works just like a skosh or a chest heart rate monitor. The app is free if you're willing to deal with ads and the ads do suck. They're not short ads, they're like 30 second ads. And then for $10, you can get rid of the ads and be able to easily jump into a workout. There are two parts to this. There is the iOS app and then there's the app that's on your watch. Once open, there are a few options here to start a workout on the Apple Watch. There's spin, run, row, and then hit. I'm obviously gonna do a spin class here on the bike. Once you hit the spin class to start it on the Apple Watch, it's gonna say, please open the app on your phone to start. So once you have that open, it says grab your water and a towel and hit start when you're ready. Now you hit start on the iPhone. The yeah, ad's over, you can hit done. Hit the X up top, and now you're ready to go. So it says connect to your equipment. Look for Blue Heart or Christopher's iPhone, which is the name of my iPhone. Here's the 30 minute intervals arm right I wanna do with Emma. So I click that and hit start. Bluetooth audio connected. So my workout headphones are connected. Heart rate monitor connected. And here you'll see when you click that, now you get, so I get to focus. So once you click that, now you get Blue Heart Connect. Boom, it's connected and now it's gonna start reading. As you can see there, 103. I just did a, some strength training earlier here in the home gym. Now it's reading the heart rate off of my watch, transmitted to my iPhone, which is then retransmitted to the bike. And the real question is, what is the lag? As I start to do intervals, how, what is the lag between when it actually picks up? Workouts over and I did a 30 minute in the low well, arms and intervals using just the Blue Heart app on my Apple Watch, connected to my iPhone, connected to the Peloton bike. And it maintained a steady connection the whole time. It seemed pretty accurate as I was doing intervals. My heart rate was going up on the screen. It's usually about where my heart rate is, around 150 to 155 when I'm pushing really hard, all the way up to 160. And that's what it's showing. That's what it is when I use my skosh. Rhythm Plus, definitely a good option if you wanna use your Apple Watch, your iPhone to connect those to the Peloton bike. You don't wanna deal with a chest heart rate monitor. I hate those, they're uncomfortable. I've tried for multiple weeks to get used to one and I never get used to it. The Scotch Rhythm is a good alternative. It goes on your forearm or your bicep, but it's like 80 bucks. Here, if you got an Apple Watch, you got an iPhone and you don't mind dealing with ads that last 30 seconds before working out, you can use the Blue Heart app for free or pay 10 bucks to get rid of ads. And you got a great way to track your heart rate using your Apple Watch on your Peloton bike. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more videos like this on the Peloton bike, I got a Peloton tread coming here in about a week. If you wanna see videos on that, hit subscribe. And if you have questions or comments, or you know of another app like Blue Heart that is completely free with no ads, hit me up down in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.